So this is the end result. And this is how it looks before we made any changes to it. So let's get this cinematic interview setup underway. First things first, I'm moving my subject as far away from the background as possible. This helps to create depth, which will make for a much more cinematic shot than if you're just right up against a wall or a background. From there, let's talk lighting. The first thing you wanna do is cut out any natural light. I'm just using these super budget clamps to hang blankets around the room, but you could also just close the blinds if you have them or use tape or do whatever works for you. Next, let's bring in our key light. I'm using the Falconize SO28 TD, but any light works here as long as it's got a bright enough output. I'm placing this on a roughly 45 degree angle from my subject, mainly because I don't want flat lighting here in this scenario. I want some pretty solid contrast, which is what you want if you're going for a cinematic shot. From there, we wanna soften our light as much as possible. Now, the falconized light I'm using is already nice and soft, but I want it even softer, and softening our light is one of the key steps in making our shots look more cinematic. So I'm putting a diffusion panel set up on a stand in front of my key light, but you could also use a shower curtain or some baking paper, or even better yet, you could just bounce the light off something that's large and white such as a wall or a bed sheet and that will do just as good and sometimes even a better job altogether. From there, let's get our framing right. So just as an FYI, I'm using a 50 millimeter lens for a nice tight portrait shot. And this helps create good depth from the background as well. Now, traditional interview shots have the subject off on either the left or right thirds of the frame and I'm going for a tight mid shot here. So I just want a small amount of headroom above my subject, but definitely not too much. Otherwise, your subject will look cramped within your shot. Then I want my subject angled off a bit, angling their body slightly towards the space on either the right or left of where they're sitting. And this is to create what we call looking room, which is common for traditional interview setups. Okay, the cherry on the cake is the backlight. I'm going to place a small aperture LED light on a stand and just slightly out of frame on the opposite side of where my key light was. I'm angling it towards my subject and I'm gonna make sure that the intensity is fairly low. When we turn this backlight on, we get a beautiful highlight around the back of our subject, which just makes them pop in the frame. This is my favorite part of the whole lighting setup. Finally, a couple of practical lights in the background to further enhance the depth and to make our background a little more interesting. And that's it for the visual side of things. From there, the last step is to get the audio setup. I'm using a shotgun microphone on a mic stand angled between the mouth and chest of my subject. And this is plugged into a Zoom H4n, meaning audio is recording separately from my camera. And that's it. This is the finished cinematic interview shot and clocking in at under three minutes as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.